Okay, let's take you to the next question. <laughs> My safety net eligibility for Medi-Cal is expiring. I'm under the statewide shelter-in-place order for COVID-19. Do I need to renew my eligibility right now? I'm actually not sure, being that that is specific to the state of California. However, if they're following suit with what we're seeing across the rest of the nation, there's a lot of exceptions being made. We even see the carriers extending refills on prescriptions if you're out of refills. So it's important to go ahead and contact your carrier so that you can find that out. Let's talk about the bad guys that are out there right now because everybody takes advantage of a situation. That's what happens. Uh, the next text is, I believe I got scammed, uh, a phone scam regarding my health insurance and the coronavirus. How can I determine whether or not I'm getting scammed on the phone by somebody? Oh my gosh, we've heard a lot about that as well. Anytime you have this type of national emergency, you're always going to have some of the less than scrupulous people joining in and finding ways to take advantage of people. So if you feel like you have been exposed, you should contact the credit bureaus and put a freeze on your credit. If you're taking a phone call or you're online about something and there's anything suspicious, always just be sure to keep close your personal identifying information. No one from Medicare or your health insurance company is ever going to call you and ask for your social security number or your Medicare number. So you never wanna provide those to anyone that's in, in a call that you yourself have not initiated. Yeah, I guess that's a common sense thing because we hear a lot of that with the IRS. Uh, you're going to get arrested unless you give me information, but they do prey on, on the older folks, uh, and that seems to be their go-to. Uh, what services can be provided by telehealth under the new emergency declaration? So a telehealth visit is just like an in-person visit, and your doctor will be able to treat it as such. So if you give symptoms. Let's say you have symptoms of the flu and the doctor is pretty sure that what you have is the flu and not coronavirus. They can call in medications for you like Tamiflu. Mm -hmm. If they do think you have coronavirus and you're exhibiting those symptoms, they'll be able to direct you to a testing site that we can find out exactly what's going on. And then in a follow-up visit, prescribe medications accordingly for that. Tamiflu is not going to work for coronavirus, right? Just confirming. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Just for the flu. Okay. So what tips do you have for baby boomers regarding their health insurance during this time? Yeah, so a lot of baby boomers are now aging into Medicare, and you may have your coverage through either original Medicare or through a Medicare Advantage plan. In either case, you're going to be able to get your lab testing for coronavirus covered at 100%, and you're also going to see that in many instances, the carriers are waiving normal rules. So sometimes you might have had a prior authorization with the Medicare Advantage company, we're seeing some of those carriers waiving some of those rules to make sure that everyone gets the care that they need in a way that they don't have exposure. Awesome. Danielle Roberts from boomerbenefits.com. Danielle, uh, you handled everything our viewers threw at you today, and we, we hope that you're available uh, to visit with us again because these questions are not going to go away anytime soon.